So many books claim to be God's Word. How do we know that the Bible actually is God's Word? One thing that the Bible has that no other book has is internal unity historically. That is, it was written by 40 different authors from different locations, different cultures over 1,500 years, producing 66 books, yet all one coherent story. Another thing that's unique about the Bible is fulfilled prophecy. With Jesus alone, there's over 315 prophecies fulfilled in one man's life, which is astronomically improbable. Thirdly, we understand that there's archaeological consistency within the claims of the Bible about different places, locations, time period, and so forth. Fourthly, we have accurate preservation of the words within the Bible with over 5,000 ancient copies of the New Testament and 616 ancient copies of the Old Testament. Finally, the Bible has transformative power throughout history. Okay, so we just talked about four things that help to consolidate the case that the Bible is the best contender for being God's holy inspired word. And we talked about how the unity of scripture stands to consolidate that reality, fulfilled prophecy, archaeological consistency, the reliable translations that we have, and then finally, how it has transformative power. Now, these are only five of other, uh, we have a larger body of evidences that support the, uh, the veracity of Scripture, but we're just dealing with five in this video. And so, uh, being that we made that on TikTok, it was short, so I wanted to elaborate a little bit on those different areas. So, with the unity of Scripture, 1,500 years of 40 different people from different backgrounds, geographical locations, even languages and cultures, writing one consistent story about mankind falling away from God and in need of redemption, where you find it following a lineage of descendants from the Garden of Eden and, and Eve, uh, in which it, it finds its culmination in the descendant of David, who is linked to this chain of descendants, Jesus Christ, who reverses the curse that was imposed upon humanity as a result of their sin and rebellion in the beginning. And then we find the consummation of the story in the book of Revelation. This not happening with one writer coming up with it off the top of his head as some religious holy books uh, were formulated. But with Scripture, it was purposefully done in this way so that we can understand only God could have organized such an incredibly complex process to produce a consistent story about his, uh, uh, his ability to rescue mankind from their rebellion. When it comes to fulfilled prophecy, not only are the 315 prophecies fulfilled in Christ that statistically uh, prove that he is one of divine identity. But even Hugh Ross, in a study of biblical prophecy at large, was able to conclude that uh, a maximum of 2,500 biblical prophecies have already been fulfilled, that the remaining unfulfilled prophecies can be fulfilled within a generation, just as Scripture seems to indicate. So, we would expect if God has a word for us to read, it should have prophetic fulfillment within its writings. That is, it's not making inaccurate prof prophetic predictions in which the Bible checks the mark on that element. Archaeological consistency is also important. If God has a word, you would expect certain facts mentioned, such as geographical locations, kings, uh, cities, uh, names of different individuals, uh, cultural uh, tendencies and, and practices, you would expect those to be consistent with what we find in archaeology. The Bible checks the mark on that element as well. Reliability and translation, we mentioned how there's 5,000, over 5,000 Greek manuscripts and over 600 uh, Hebrew manuscripts of the Old and New Testament. This is far beyond what we accept from other historical documents of the same time of the Bible. 
where you have most other documents having very few copies and very large time gaps between the date of the supposed event and the actual date of the copy itself. Transformative power is certainly something you would also expect from something that claims to be God's Word. So I thought that, hope this was helpful to you, and I'm looking forward to tuning in with you again. Yeah. Uh, yeah.